Doug NPA back with another video. So we have an interesting story out of Ohio where a women's college basketball coach coaching a women's team had to resign and leave her position because of an inappropriate relationship with a player on her team. All these organizations have policies and procedures against this type of thing to keep people of authority, teachers, coaches, staff from fraternizing with students. So I don't know what this woman was thinking. Guys, if you're in these positions, don't do that because your career will be over. But the thing about this specific case is this is always painted as a man problem. So if you were to see, if they were to take this name off this headline, you would assume that, oh, yeah, another guy. But no, women are doing the same thing. In fact, if you look in the news, you see more women in authority, teachers, police, all these doing this type of stuff, fraternizing with people that they should be fraternizing with. So before we get into this article here, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It's just you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's look at what's going on with this Deanna Hendricks, because this article is called Miami, Ohio women's basketball coach Deanna Hendricks resigns after text reportedly show relationship with a player. It says Miami of Ohio women's basketball coach Deanna Hendricks resigned Wednesday after intimate text messages revealed she and a player were in a relationship, according to the Athletics, Chantel Jennings and Brian Hamilton. The university initially suspended Hendricks on April 20th for a statement provided to the Athletic. The day after, it was reportedly discovered 180 texts between Hendricks, 38, and an unnamed player over an 11-day period. 30 of the messages reportedly were considered intimate and included phrases such as, I love you, you're my baby, and I can't wait to squeeze you. Aww. Yeah, it sounds so romantic. The problem is you shouldn't have been doing it in the first place, Diona. Just more from the Atlantic. In one text message from the player, Hendricks, oh, with the player, Hendricks referenced a couple who had been married for many years and added, doing this with you openly would be more than ideal. And a text dated April 9th, Hendricks wrote, today is a day that my girl returns to be and then notes that the airport will be clear of Miami WBB employees. I'm guessing that's either college security or other college uh, staff. The player also made intimate comments during the text exchanges, including professing her love for Hendricks. So the university determined Hendricks actions did not uh, did not constitute a violation of Title IX of the or the university's sexual misconduct protocol for the athletic, but that Hendricks did violate the school's policy on consensual relationships between staff members and undergraduate students. And here's the thing. I think that, I mean, if they're texting to this point, something must have happened physically between them. But she's a woman. She's going to get, you know, they're probably not, they didn't do as big of an investigation as they would if it was a man. I mean, if this were an older man and a woman, I mean, come on, the story would be completely different. We all know that. There's, Rather than go through a hearing, though, Hendricks resigned. I want to thank Miami University and its administration for allowing me to lead the program for the last four years, Hendricks said in a statement on the university's athletic website. I can't express the amount of gratitude I have for this prestigious institution and its leadership. I also want to thank the Oxford community for their continued love and support. I look forward to the next phase of my career and continue rooting for the Red Hawks. The university reportedly did not disclose Hendricks' reason for resigning because it said it wanted to protect their rights of confidentiality of confidentiality under FERPA per the athletic. And that's another privilege that she got because she's a woman and not a man. If this were a male coach, his face would be all over the place. All over the place. It says Hendricks' resignation letter, which is also obtained by the athletic, included a stipulation that the university would only provide her dates of employment and positions she held to future employers and that athletic director David Saylor would not disparage me or make any statements to others that may be considered to be derogatory or detrimental to my good name or reputation. So they, her next employers can't even inquire about why she, she got fired. She's trying to get out of this scot-free. This is the last thing I'm going to say. If this were a man, this story would, would have been completely... In fact, put in the comment section, what do you think would have been different about this case if this were a man? The Hendricks went 35 to 80 in her four years in Miami, and after she went 125 and 93 in seven seasons at high point. So this lady right here is looking for a new job. I'm pretty sure she's going to find another one. You know, I'll occasionally try to check back and see where she ends up. But yes, yeah, 38 years old with a younger student. And once again, you know, if you were to take the name out of it, you would probably assume it's a man, but these women are doing the same thing, guys.
Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.